So earlier this week, an article caught my eye and it, the gist of it was that the, it was talking about when do Americans first buy their, buy their first home. And their finding was that uh, most people, the average age that people become a, a homeowner is 29, with most of us hitting that milestone by the time that we're 35. And it didn't matter um, what generation they were polling people from. The numbers were pretty much the same. And it got me thinking, when did, you know, when did y'all like buy your first place? So I put something out on my Facebook page and just kind of pulled my friends and asked, hey, when did you buy your first house? And I was really surprised. Um, as it turned out, most of my friends or associates had bought their first home before they were 25. Some of them were as young as, as 22 or 23. And then I realized, uh, I guess I was a late bloomer. I, I was 34 when I bought my first house. And so, I, it, which got me reminiscing and I thought I'd tell you a little bit today about my own personal home ownership story. Um, it was 2002 and I had been driving through a neighborhood and noticed a house. It happened to catch my eye and it had a sign in the yard. So I didn't think that we would be able to get it, of course, but what the heck, we gave it a try. Um, my husband called on it. We had a showing with the listing agent. He called the number on the sign and uh, fell in love with it. But I still didn't think we'd be able to get it. And um, then we found out ugh, there was already an accepted offer on the house, but it was with a contingency. Now, what a contingency is, I'm gonna go into realtor here for you. A contingency is when um, the sellers have already accepted an offer, but for whatever reason, that buyer can't quite buy the house yet. Um, they probably, in most cases, have to sell the house that they, that they already have. And that was the case here. So we had the ability to go ahead and put an offer in anyway, and then that those first buyers would have 24 hours, called a kick-out clause, um, to either get change their financing or get their house sold. So we, we went for it, put in an offer, all the while in the back of my head, all the little monsters are saying, you know, it's not gonna work, it's not gonna work, don't get your hopes up. But we did it and um, waited that 24 hours, waited for that phone to ring. I, I swear it that the call came at hour 23. It probably didn't, but that's how I remember it. Um, and we got it. They couldn't, they couldn't get alternate financing, so the house was ours if we wanted it. Then it was time to go into the finance part, and I was terrified, terrified. Uh, let me tell you, we, you know, we were a young family. We had two little girls that did dance and chess and all of these fun things that, you know, we made sure they got to do. And sometimes, you know, it was tight. We, we weren't sure how we were, you know, gonna get by sometimes. But lo and behold, the lender said yes, we could buy the house. Uh, we had inspections. They came, they found some things that were wrong with the house and uh, some of those things got fixed and some of them didn't, but we, we kept on going. And I still just was waiting for that other shoe to drop. I knew we weren't gonna be able to get the house. Time went on, time went on. We got to closing, signed our life away. And I still didn't feel confident. Um, I just was so terrified. We came to the house we painted walls. I just knew they were going to call me and tell me I had to bring the keys back. But you know what? It never ever happened. None of my fears came true. Uh, my girls grew up in the house. Uh, some of those repairs I talked about, they still haven't been fixed. I still live in the same house, my very first home, and I can't imagine living anywhere else. And so a few years later, after when I got into real estate, my goal was to help people that were like me, that really wanted to have um, that, that home, but were a little bit unsure that they could get through the process. And so here I am, that many years later, in the same house, selling, selling the American dream to people like you. So um, I will talk to you later. I am curious though, when did you buy your first home? Comment below and let us know. Bye.